Mobile development is all the rage right now and in this tutorial I wanted to take a look at how uh, existing Flash developers can get started testing mobile applications. So we're going to kind of cover two things. We're going to first look at testing mobile applications on a device and then for people who do not have a mobile device to test on we're going to look at using the emulator. I'm going to focus on Android development as well since this is kind of the easiest platform to develop for and it's the lowest cost of entry since it's free to begin developing mobile applications for Android applications or Android phones. So before we begin, I'm going to hop over to the Adobe Labs website because one thing that you need to do in order to develop mobile applications is get the uh, Adobe Flash Professional extension for Air 2.5. Now if you don't see it listed in the recent releases, you can go to the Technologies tab, scroll down the right hand side and you will see Flash Pro extension for Air 2.5. Go ahead and click to download that, accept the terms, and this is an extension for the extension manager. Now, I've already downloaded this extension. I'm going to just double click it to begin running. For the record, if you're on Windows 7, you will want to first open the extension manager uh, for Creative Suite 5 by right clicking on the shortcut and choosing run as administrator. It has to be in administration mode in order to install extensions. Extension manager will open and begin the installation process. I'm going to accept the licensing. Uh, now I already have a version of this extension installed. I'm just going to replace it to get the, the latest one. The extension will finish the installation. Now one note for Windows users, if you notice some of the information about the extension here, as I scroll down you'll see that they include a USB driver for Windows and if you're a Windows user uh, in order to test on a Android device over USB you actually need to install this additional driver and we'll cover this in a little bit. Mac users you don't have to worry about this. I'm going to close my extension manager and I'm going to open up Flash. In Flash CS5 what I want to do is I want to begin a new Android application. So I'm going to choose File New. I'm going to go to the templates and you'll notice that there is an Air for Android template which sizes to the, the device or the stage to 480 by 800 which is kind of a standard Air screen size. This matches the HTC Evo or some of the droids. There are of course different screen sizes out there as well and you can have this be any screen size you want. But for now this is the size of my document. This is going to be a pretty simple application. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a couple of buttons and my thought is I need to make an application that I can quickly uh, reference uh, or link to websites for our company here. So it's kind of like a quick access application. I'm going to select this. I'm going to convert it to a button symbol. I'm going to call it my button. There we go. Uh, I'm going to give it an instance name of home underscore btn. And I'll maybe even add a new layer with some text on it. So I'm going to make this button link me to my home page. I'll just use the code snippets to do that by opening the code snippets panel. Action. I'll say click to go to web page. I'm just going to double click on that. It'll actually pop me over into my actions panel uh, with the code snippet created. Code snippet is pretty ugly. I'll just get rid of the comment that they have in here. And I'm going to make this URL be easelsolutions.com. So not too complex of an application. It's just a button that when you click it takes you to easelsolutions.com. Now before I go any further I'm going to save this to my desktop. I'm going to make a new folder called Android App. And I'm going to call this file Quick Access. Now, I need to just test my application, so I'm going to say Control Test Movie in Flash Professional, which everybody knows the shortcut is Control Enter or Command Enter. 
the movie will start up. Sorry, I'm going to allow access here. First time I've run Flash on this machine. And you can't see this in the entire recording window, but you'll see the movie starts up. It's the button here when I roll over it, I get the roll over when I click it, it pops open Easel Solutions in a web browser. So nothing too fancy. But I've come to the point in time where I need to test this on a device. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in my Android device. I have the HTC Evo, you will see it shortly. I'm going to plug this device in to, in order to test on that. In Flash, I'm going to go to my File, Publish Settings. If I go to the Flash tab, you'll see that there are settings for Air for Android. Now I'm going to cancel out of this for a second and just show you there's a shortcut to that file menu, Air for Android settings. So the first thing is, this is the output file, an APK file is an Android file. Application name, I'm going to call it Quick Access, I might put a space in there make it look nicer. Application ID, this needs to be unique, so I normally use something with our domain name in it, like com.easelsolutions whatever the name of the application is. And again, this needs to be unique so that when you update the app, it updates it correctly. Uh, this is going to be a portrait application, but I'm going to allow it to auto-orient. That means when you rotate the phone, it'll flip. You can include any additional files in here. Switch over to the Deployment tab. You need to sign any application that you create for an Android device. So I'm just going to create a certificate here using the Create button. Our publisher is Easel Solutions. I'm going to put the same thing. You pretty much have to put something for all these fields here. So I'm going to say Easel Solutions, Easel Solutions. You have to give it a password so that you can verify that you signed this device. The validity period needs to be 25 years. And I'm just going to save it in the same directory as the application. And you'll see it's going to make a little certificate file here. So I'll hit OK. I'm going to put in my password here. Now I'm going to test this on the device. I want it to install the application and launch it every time I test it. So now when I click publish, what's going to happen is I'm going to get an error. The error I'm getting is that the, the Android debugger here, the, or the, the developer tool, is not able to actually find the device. And that's because I'm on Windows and there's no USB driver. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. Now before I leave this screen, one other thing I want to mention is a couple other tabs up here. Icons, these are different icons that you can make that will show up on the device. It'll be helpful to have those. Um, and permissions, these are what you want your application to have access to. And for those of you who have Android devices, you know when you download an application, it says that it's going to access your GPS or it's going to access your camera. I'm going to give this internet access um, so that I can actually have this thing browse to the web. So for now, I'm going to hit OK, and I need to install the device. Now this is a little tricky. Um, there is really no easy way to do this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my control panel. And this is different depending on which version of Windows you have. I'm going to go into my device manager. I'm going to open up my device manager. Now in your device manager, you'll see that there is an ADB that has a little issue for the driver and this is it's basically your phone right now is mounted as a USB drive it doesn't know that it's an Android phone so I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to choose update drivers I'm going to browse for a location and I'm going to choose in on my C drive program files Adobe wherever Adobe Flash is installed you will have an Android drivers directory. So again, if I actually browse to this, you'll see that there is an Android drivers directory on in my Flash CS5 install directory. That's what that little add-on, that extension that we installed did. So I'm going to choose that. Make sure include subfolders is selected. Click Next. You'll see it installed. Windows can't verify the publisher. That's fine. Install the driver anyway. And what this is doing now is actually installing um, an Android uh, driver for your phone. So I'm going to click close 
and you'll see now in my device manager that my Android phone is showing up. Finally, I'm going to go back to Flash and I'm going to republish this. So I'm just going to hit publish again. I've already saved all those settings from before and at this point the application is going to be pushed to my device. Now you of course can't see my device but what I'm going to do is pop over to my webcam here. I'm going to apologize for shaky camera video right now because uh, I don't have a great webcam set up here. But what you'll see on the device here is it's kind of hard to see with the lighting but you can see I have a button. When I click my button it's going to actually open up a web browser for Easel Solutions, our homepage. And I'm going to cave here so it's a little bit slower loading, but you can see, oh look at that, our little flash batters, banners loading up, no problem. Android supports flash, great. So you can see the full web experience there. Um, now just to show you, I'm going to hit my home button, I'm going to actually go into my applications, and notice that there, uh, it's kind of hard to read on the monitor, but there is a quick access application in the lower left hand corner. It's all blurry, it's right underneath Photoshop Express. But if I hit that, that's going to pop open the same application. So I was able to actually test this. It's a real application on my device. So it's a pretty nice development process where I can continue to develop on my desktop like I normally would. And then when I'm ready to test it on a device, simply plug in the device, publish it, and the Flash or Air Packager for Android will push the application to that device. But what if you don't have a device? How can you test this? I'm going to show you now how you can install the uh, developer kit for Android and actually test on an emulator. Before I do that, I want to show one website real quick. This is the Adobe DevNet for Mobile and Devices. You can see the URL at the top. If I scroll down, there is a link to see the latest Flash Player 10.1 certified devices. These are, these are basically the devices that support Flash right now and the devices that you will be able to test on. I'm only showing Android devices right now, but there are other devices out there that you can technically develop applications for right now. So if I go to smartphones, I'll be able to see a list of the smartphones kind of organized by uh, vendor that I can get. So if you really the best way to get into mobile development is to get your hands on an actual device. So go pick one of these up, then you can test on it.